Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axe here, Doctor of Functional Medicine Nutritionist. You know, one of the most common questions I get is, how much protein should I consume a day? And you know, protein is essential for building muscle, for burning fat, for supporting metabolism, even health of certain organs like your thyroid and adrenal glands. And so we need protein to heal and to be healthy. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much protein you need per day. And that answer is, if you're asking me that question, how much protein should you have per day, is it really depends on what your health goals are. And I'm going to really break things down into three categories. Number one, how much protein do you need on a regular basis to uh, generally heal and for your body to regenerate? Number two, how much protein do you need to burn fat? And number three, how much protein do you need to burn uh, to build muscle per day? And so in general, if you just want to have general health, and longevity, uh, doing about 50% of your body weight in grams of protein per day is about what you want. So let's say you weigh 160 pounds. Well, if you weigh 160 pounds and you're looking to be generally healthy, what I'd recommend is having about 80 grams of protein a day in your diet. So if you're eating, let's say, uh, uh, three meals a day, you're going to be getting about 25 grams of protein per meal. And that's going to really get you to where you need to be in terms of the amount of protein you need in your diet. Now, the second one is, let's say you're trying to really burn fat fast and you want to really get that body fat off. In that case, about 0.7 grams to 0.75 grams of protein a day is ideal for overall burning fat because you're going to replace some of those extra carbohydrates in your diet and get more protein in during this period of time when you're trying to burn more fat. And so in that case, again, if you weigh 160 pounds times 0.75, you're going to do closer to 100 to maybe 120 grams of protein a day if you're trying to really burn fat. And so if you're going to eat, let's say, four meals a day where you're trying to burn fat, 25 to 30 grams of protein three times a day is the ideal amount that you're going to be getting if you're looking to really burn fat. And then let's say you're trying to build muscle. You're trying to really uh, build lean, more, uh, more muscle tone, or you're trying to build muscle in general. You want to actually take your weight and take that times one, and so eat that many grams of protein a day. So let's say you weigh 160 pounds and you're wanting to pack on some muscle, well then you should be trying to get 160 grams of protein a day. And so what that might look like if you're eating uh, five meals a day, or let's say four meals a day, you're gonna be trying getting 40 grams of protein per meal, but that's how much protein you need per day. So again, it really depends. Is your goal for general health? In that case, half your body weight in grams of protein. If your goal is fat burning, 0.7 to 0.75 grams of protein. And then if your goal is to build muscle, you need an equal amount of grams of protein a day to your body weight if you're going to burn or if you're going to actually build muscle. And so again, remember these benefits of protein. I mean, protein is so important for, um, again, building lean muscular tissue. It's also very important for organ function. In fact, a lot of your organs and cells and tissues require protein for proper regeneration. And so if you're really trying to heal, and, and there, there are actually studies out there that if you have burns or cuts on your body, that you actually need more protein intake. So if you ever have a severe burn or an injury, your body actually needs more protein during those times. And some of the best forms of protein to get are things like grass-fed beef, wild-caught chicken and turkey, free-range eggs, high-quality grass-fed protein powders, like a good quality whey protein is also great to get. And one of my favorites, collagen protein, which are actually amino acids. So doing collagen is another great form of protein, easy absorbable and digestible. Those are good sources of protein. And then really also you're going to get some protein from high quality nuts and seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, and almonds. Also in certain types of beans, uh, you're going to get some protein. Even certain grains like oats have lower to moderate levels of protein as well. But really be conscious of that this week. Look at how much protein are you getting on a regular basis? What are your health, what are your health goals? And based on your health goals, consume those amounts of protein a day. So I, got, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how much protein you can, uh, should consume per day. This has been Dr. X. By the way, if you want more health tips and want more information like this, hey, we'd love it if you subscribe here to our YouTube channel. I'm putting out uh, quality videos like this every single week that can really show you how to live your best life possible and how to heal naturally. Thanks, guys.